Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm still dressed. I just came back from a shopping trip where I took you all on. But we went to Heron Foods for the first time ever and we were so impressed. I've literally got a bag here and I don't usually do hauls like this, like food hauls, but a few of you did ask. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do it because it's really good value as well. And I just wanted to share that with you. It's just a little bit hard when you do food hauls because it's like freezer, fridge stuff. So you have to put it away fairly quickly. I have got 27 items and the total was £37.52. Here's the receipt. I'm wondering if this light right above me is too bright. Okay, that looks much better. Okay, so yeah, I'm really excited to share with you. Let me just pin this on my top. The reason why I went into the store to begin with was these cakes that were just two pounds. It doesn't look it. So I grabbed some for me, well, for us and for my family to gift. And because we have Ramadan and then we have Eid as well, so that's our celebration. And so, yeah, I grabbed these. They look really plain, like from the outside, you can't tell what it is at all. And I suppose that's how they keep their price low. So it's a strawberry cake and I will add the image here. That's where I saw it to begin with on social media. And I was like, I have to go to the store. I have to find these cakes. And when I do, I'm going to film inside the store as well so it's got the ingredients here and as you can see it's pretty big it does have the weight like in the image that i'm going to share i could not believe that they were two pounds so like i said i grabbed a few i only left one in the store because there's only four anyway and then they have another flavor this is chocolate forest cake so chocolate forest cake and strawberry cake, those are the two flavours and it's in the XL range. So I got two black forest cakes because they only had one strawberry cake and I'm not sure who I'm going to give yet from my family. So I'll just show you how big the bag is, it actually was two bags and it is packed to the brim. It's huge and it's in a little bag. We thought we estimated at least £50 for this shop and so we were so surprised when it came up to £37 something. £37.52, I just checked the receipt because I already forgot. And just for you, I went through the receipt and I wrote the prices on the boxes of everything so I can tell you the prices as well. So this was £2 for five screwballs. I was always looking for some of these. I can't find them. I really wanted the vanilla. But this is by Slush Puppy. It's strawberry and blue raspberry. So I can't wait to have that actually. <laughs> Next we grab these peri peri chicken strips. We place these in the air fryer and they cook so nicely. This is by Jahan and it's got like the chili there so you can see how it's going to be spice wise. If you're not very good with spices this is quite spicy and of course it's halal and this is £2.50. Hobby eats these, I don't eat them because I don't really like like the breaded stuff. One of the good things about these places, like Iceland's were fairly new to as well. We now grab a few items from Iceland as well. But it's really annoying because you know when you, you get to a store and you've got three or four items from one shop, then you've got three or four items in another shop, and then all together you've got like four or five different shops that you go to for your groceries. And then it takes you like three hours or two and a half hours to get your groceries done. That's the problem that we're facing. I don't know if you know if there is such a thing as an app where you can get things from different items and then get them delivered in one parcel that would be so great a really good time saver so we got quite a few ready-made meals from here and we know that this the original patico they're always halal so that's really good and this is what is it jerk chicken and rice again this is for hubby and it's £3.50 so I thought that was really good for a meal like £3.50 really convenient quick and easy just for times where we need it sometimes if I'm not feeling well for example or we just really haven't had the time but most of the time I'm cooking. So this is another thing that we picked up from the original patty co it's £1.29 and you get two chicken patties and they are so good. Again we just pop these in the air fryer we also have like a little oven thing I actually shared it on this channel 
quite some time ago now but I cook everything in there. I barely use you know the old cooker and stove and grill and oven that just takes so long now everything is so quick with the air fryers and the little oven things it uses the same type of technology as an air fryer I'm sure you know what I'm talking about then I grabbed some pancakes I got two they are one pound ten each I usually get these from Iceland, Sainsbury's also do them but they are the best pancakes. So this is by Warburton's. I am like the pancake queen, I've tried and tested all brands and I have to have these. These are the best every morning. If you haven't seen it, I do have a whole tour where I'm showing you everything in store. You can check out my playlist if you want to see. So they had this Indian, what is it called? The Indian Essence and they had a whole range. They've got some things that are vegetarian so this is why we picked this up. It is mild and it's £1.50 and you microwave it from frozen. It's just all potatoes but they're nicely spiced. I also picked up some cat food. These are 65p per pouch. So I've got two different flavours. If you're looking for cat food that doesn't have sugar in, these don't and they are called High Life. It's more natural. It is a little bit pricier but you can get them in boxes as well and B&M do do them. It's just that we were there and we were running out and this is what Leo eats so we had to grab quite a few. Then we got this bloomer, this is white bloomer, it's super thick slices and it's £1.75. I love bloomer, I don't have the normal thin slices anymore, I feel like they don't do anything for me so I have to have like a thicker bread like this and it's so good. I have brown, I used to have white bread but now it's funny because I used to be like no way can I have brown, I love white bread. Then I got into brown just for health reasons and now don't look back like I'm like how did I ever eat white bread <laughs> so this is for hubby he eats white something else hubby picked up was Lipton iced tea this is £1.50 we couldn't believe how cheap this was so of course hubby had to get it he actually did get addicted to this once upon a time and yeah it was pretty awful like it did give him some side effects but yeah now he's good so he doesn't mind it occasionally <laughs> gotta keep an eye on him though these again this was something we were so surprised one pound for 10 samosas they are vegetable samosas it's by the humza brand so they also do do halal which i again was surprised i thought there's no way they're going to have halal they also have like vegetarian options as well so everything for everyone and just unbelievable prices i keep saying that but we were really surprised I be grabbed one of these, they're 49p, they've got different flavours. These are mugtails, alcohol free, no added sugar and with fruit juice. I think he'll probably want this right now actually. This was £2, a massive bar of dairy milk. They've got lots of different chocolates there at the moment and I had to get this as well, £1.35. For the 12 bites, these are for me, I've got to have a little bit of chocolate every day, you know. It's like what they say about with an apple. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, that's what I feel like, but with chocolate. <laughs> Probably does the opposite, but you know, you have to have everything, a bit of a balance with everything. This is one of our favourites, we love these, and I have to tell you, these are so expensive elsewhere. Have you heard of the candy kittens? They've got different flavours. This one we haven't tried, we've tried the other ones that they had in store, which were sour. These are only £1.25, so we had to grab quite a few of these and it doesn't have palm oil in either and it's got natural flavours and colours made with fruit juice. I was running out of some bird feed so I've got this a whole bag for 2 25 this is 1.5 kg so a really good price again. I'm going to probably be going back in like for all of this stuff, for the bird stuff, for the pet stuff and for some essentials as well and she did say at the cashier that they always have new deals in daily so that's really good because it keeps you you know wanting to go in and excited about what you're going to find. They've got some free teller and with these they're so small they're £1.30 and you just add water to them. We've never bought one of these before but they are really good because hubby drinks a lot of juice and so I thought this is going to be really good to have on the table and then I can just give him the water and he could add this in and it gets you to have a bit more water as well you know flavoured water and then he got these £1.25 blackcurrant cheesecakes I love cheesecake by the way 
And I think lastly, we got this 49p and I have lots of different flavors. This was just like a nostalgic thing. We haven't had anything like this for so many years. I used to have these things in school, all of the cans and sweets and yeah, and I just really wanted to have a taste of it and have a little bit of a throwback. There's Miss Pumps in the background. It's usually her brother, but because he's asleep, she's taking her chances. It's a little bit territorial, like she's got upstairs and he's got downstairs. Anyone else is cats like that. They used to get on so well before and that's why we kept them together. When we like gave their brothers and sisters away, we kept these two together because we thought, oh, they love each other so much. And they grew. And as they grew, they grew apart. So that's the haul. I really hope that you have enjoyed it. Let me know if you do because I can do more. We have a lot more food hauls compared to all the other hauls I usually share on my channel. And let me know if you have gone to Heron Foods before and maybe if you haven't, are you going to try it out after watching my haul and perhaps my shop with me? I think it's going to be a new regular for us. I do think so. It's like Iceland. I only went into film for you guys. And now I've got a few staples that I have to keep going back in there for. And it's going to be the same with this store. Farm Foods is next on my list to try out. So make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.